How's it going guys? Indiana John here. And today I wanted to do a little show and tell of this guy. This is a knife that I just, just finished. Got my logo on there. there um, and I just wanted to show it off a little bit um, before I put it up on my website. This is this is a pretty sweet knife that I'm if I do say so myself. This this has some cool materials. This has um, I don't think it's marbled, but it's some some special type of carbon fiber from Fat Carbon, and it's the red and black, which is one of my favorite color combos. And then the Damascus is um, I don't remember the name of the pattern of that either, but it's from a buddy of mine, Pete from uh, Pete Sanders from New Jersey Steel Baron and he's he's been doing Damascus and he does a pretty good job so this guy um, yeah this is old tech number five of the sandwich old techs and yeah it will be by the time you're seeing this it'll it'll be um, up on my website and I wanted to yeah, talk about that a little bit and then also show you guys um, some of the developments of my shop and, and like how I made that guy in particular. Um, and before I forget about it, this is this is kind of an unusual thing for me, um, but I might, I don't know if, I think not a lot of people know that I, I do this type of work sometimes and I don't do it very often, but if it's intriguing enough, I might do it. And so this, uh, as you can see, is a Black Balasong Rebola, and uh, it's it's got a regrind on it. So that was that was fun, um, and uh, James wanted me to put my logo on there, and so I did, um, just because of the amount of work that I did on this knife. Um, so I don't I'll I'll do that on on regrind sometimes, but generally not. But uh, yeah, this, this wasn't just a regrind. This was a, a metric to Imperial hardware swap, uh, which took quite a while, but James is super patient. And so, um, yeah, this, this is finished up. But this guy, it needed new liners and different bushings and some surface grinding and, you know, custom spacers and a little bit of modding to the scales so that they cooperate with Imperial hardware. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That was a, that was a pretty fun, pretty fun little project. So if you have any, um, if you have any mods that you want done that are a little bit more involved than a typical mod, typical mod being like anodizing or sharpening or bushing tune, stuff like that. If you want something done like, you know, like a regrind or funky custom scales or spacers or stuff like that um or like a bushing install which i don't enjoy doing but i can do that um yeah send me uh send me either an email or a, like a dm through instagram um oh and then another thing that uh, another infomercially thing is this guy is pretty much done i need to i think i need to do another knot uh, or a, a different knot on the back of it. But this guy is a camo bull whip, um, as you can see. And uh, it's got, has a, like a Damascus, um, I don't know how well you can see that, but it has a, a Damascus, uh, like a butt cap type of pommely thing in the heel knot. Um, and then it has a square start, which is a pretty cool thing that not a lot of whip makers do. Um, and so this guy will also be um, up on my site um, this evening. And another cool thing about this particular whip is it has a, a tapered steel cable in it. Um, so it's like the, the hard part of the handle is, um, I wanna say it's 3 8 mild steel that's knurled so like there's no there's no twisting um which is really cool uh and then i 
drilled in the end of it and soldered in a section of 3 16 diameter cable. Um, and what I do is I untwist the cable and I snip it at varying lengths and then put heat shrink over it. And that makes it tapered in weight and flexibility and, and it doesn't chew up the whip or anything. And it just, it, it feels so much nicer than um, other bullets that I've done without tapered steel cables. So that's pretty cool. If you're into bull whips, that'll be on the website. Um, and then, yeah, I want to show you guys the template for doing the tang on, on a valley. And just as a, yeah, let's just, let's go look at that. So Jimpy, um, Jimpy Designs did the math for me. And this right here, this is a Gorton 3L Panto mill. Uh, so it's a, it's a pantograph milling machine. So it can do 3D. You can mount that to here and do trace three-dimensional templates. Or what I do for the most part is I use this for drilling and counter bores and stuff like that. But this guy here is five times the size of, of uh, an old tech blade, the ones that I do. And uh, these are the pivot holes, and then these are the Zen pin um, locations. And so I use um, pretty standard Zen pins, and the, the larger diameter um, of the pin, the part that actually bumps the blade, is 5 30 seconds of an inch, 0.15625. And that is the diameter of the drill that I use for those holes, and so that's how I get the handle gap in open and closed position um, situated, which is just super duper handy. And then I also put um, uh, holes for doing a choil. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. And then this guy, um, if I can flip it over, yeah, this is what I do my scales with. So this is four scales and um, Jeff Dumont actually just recently got these templates done for me for engraving diamonds and they just bolt right onto this guy as well and that's how I do that's how I do my scales so I can do the counter bores and the um, all the holes and like hole patterns and other stuff like that um, all on this machine and so yeah that's that's pretty much That's pretty much that machine and what I wanted to say about this knife. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, that should be should be on my site. And if if it's sold, but you like this particular knife, um, feel free to send me a DM and I'll try to get another one another one rolling. Um, also, I'm gonna start doing more channel knives. Um, I just finally got this cutter mounted. And as you can see, I've been making some chips. Um, actually, Luke was making most of those. Um, he's working on some on a channel knife as well. So you should check out his his Instagram. I'll put that in the description of this video. Um, I think that's all I've got to got to say. So thank you for joining, and 